Ozempic promises fast results, but what the ads aren't telling you could cost you your health and your savings. Hey everyone, my name is Dr. Nathan Bryan. We've all seen the ads, the fads, the GLP-1 agonist, the Ozempics, the uh, Monjuro, the Terzepatide drugs. These are called glucagon-like peptide or GLP-1 agonist. And these drugs are designed to affect satiety, so make you feel full to where you don't eat as much. But there are side effects for this, and there's some very serious side effects. In fact, I think there's some class action lawsuits now for loss of vision, a condition called gastroparesis, where you get paralysis paralysis of the gut. It affects your digestion. It can lead to some serious health consequences. The other thing in long-term health, we, we know that we need to eat. We need micronutrients. We need macronutrients. And when people aren't eating and they're on these drugs, we start breaking down protein, protein in the form of muscle, protein in the form of bone. We're developing sarcopenia, osteopenia, osteoporosis. So we may be skinny. These patients may be skinny, but they're not healthy. And to me, that's a big difference because you can be skinny and not be healthy. So what we need to focus on is normal biochemistry, normal physiology, giving the body what the body needs in order for the body to perform optimally. Obviously, these drugs are very effective at affecting weight loss, and I think they can be very effective in the morbidly obese people who have trouble losing weight for whatever condition, hypothyroidism, other genetic predispositions. But again, these drugs can be a very good tool to lose weight, to affect your metabolism, but just like with any drug, there are side effects there are consequences to this. But if you use these judiciously under the medical advice of a physician to custom tailor these drugs at a dose that your body can tolerate to facilitate the weight loss, but understand the, the, the steps you need to take to mitigate the side effects. You know, always recommend, we have to eat. You know, I think an intermittent fasting every day, an 18 hour fast is good. Caloric restriction is good. And these drugs can help you do that, but you still have to have the discipline. You still have to eat, provide the body the nutrients, Branch chain amino acids are good. Again, high protein, good fats, limited carbs can help accelerate and improve the efficiency and the efficacy of these drugs. So, you know, I think these drugs can be very powerful agents and tools for weight management, improving metabolic flexibility, but understand the risk and use these drugs judicially under the care of a physician so that you get the best results with the least side effects. The interesting thing about the GLP-1 agonists, these are peptides. These are naturally produced peptides. Obviously, these are synthetically uh, manufactured peptides, but they mimic the natural production of glucagon-like peptide. These drugs and these peptides are affecting a part of your brain that tells your body that you're full. So you don't get the hunger pains, and it causes people to not eat. Uh, so it's really mimicking and tricking your body into thinking that you're full. But you still still have to understand, we need basic nutrients, micronutrients, macronutrients. So even though you can reduce your caloric intake, I think it's important to, to practice intermittent fasting, but you still have to provide the body with the basic micronutrients uh, that the body needs in order to do its job.